The so-called Internet of Things is beginning to reshape our world. The spring edition of CNET magazine takes an in-depth look at smart homes from the living room to the garden. We've shown you the Nest thermostat, which controls the temperature remotely through your phone. That's just one of the next generation gadget, gadgets. Lindsay Turrentine is the editor-in-chief of CNET.com. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning. We all here love this idea of a, of a smartphone. The one thing you have with you is a door lock that you can control from your phone. How does that work? So this, this is the August smart lock, and it's pretty neat because it just goes on to your existing deadbolt mm -hmm. on the back of your door, and then you can control it with your phone. And you can also use it to hand out virtual keys to other people's phones. So say you have a babysitter coming over for a couple of hours, mm -hmm. you can actually send a key to her on her phone and then it set it to expire the next yeah. day and then she can't use it again. So if I was coming to visit you for the weekend, you could say Gail can come in Friday and it yeah. works from Friday to Sunday. Yeah, yeah. and then Gail overstay. cannot get back. Yeah, do not <laughs> overstay. The other thing you're talking about is a ceiling fan that you said could be a game changer. What's the name of that fan? So this fan is from a company Company called Big Ass Fans. That's the name of the That's company. That's the name of that the company. That gets your attention. The, the fan is actually a beautiful bamboo fan. It costs a thousand dollars, but you can set it up to work with your Nest thermostat or with your phone, so they can actually help keep the temperature the temperature that you want, and you can control it with your phone. Mm. And then there's the garage door opener. Chamberlain makes a garage door opener that works with a lot of different smart home systems. That mm -hmm. can also work with Siri. In the future, it can use mm -hmm. Apple's Home Kit apparatus, which is going to be, you'll hear more about it later this year, but then you can use Siri to say, hey Siri, close my garage door, and that will actually happen. Yes. How worried should we be about people being able to get to your, your garage door, get to your front door? Do you know anybody who's tried any of these devices? I have uh, some. You, you've tried I have them? Some, yeah, yeah, not these specific ones, but I have other smartphones where I can open up the door for somebody. From your door. Absolutely. I have this one installed at home right now. I actually feel pretty good about it because mm -hmm. then if I'm using the app and I'm handing out these virtual keys, I don't have physical keys floating around yeah. who knows where that I'm forgetting about. You feel okay about it too, Nora? I do. I think it's I very, so I think it's freaked out. It's very, well, there's a whole log of everybody I that goes it. in and out and is connected to alarm systems. And what about the garden. Um, the garden? The garden. I think that's such a great idea. And plants. Absolutely. This is a really interesting field and it's kind of new this year. Um, this is the parrot and this little device monitors the water in your soil. It monitors the chemical makeup of your soil. It'll actually send you alerts when you need to do something with your plant to say, hey, your plant needs water. You need to fertilize it. Um, this oh, it guy, doesn't water it for you? It doesn't water it for you. That's what I need. You. you still have to do that. But this guy, the Eden, which is due out in April, still, mm -hmm. it's a very new product, actually works with a, a hose adapter mm -hmm. that is smart that can sense when your plants need water and turn on the hose. And all of these are in the second edition of CNET. Go, Lindsay. Thank That's you right. very much.